their own parenting style. Um, this is a 30 item scale per parent, so 60 items total. Um, and 10 of each, 10 of the 30 questions correspond to each of the parenting styles. So there are 10 questions that correspond to permissive, 10 corresponding to authoritative, 10 corresponding to authoritarian per parent. <laughs> Um, and this is right on a lighter scale, so participants have to rate one to five based on how much the um, statement applies to them. So, for instance, one of the statements was, my father takes the, account, takes the opinions of the children and the family into account when making decisions. And you had to rate one, which was strongly disagree, or five, which was strongly agree. The, um, I made a couple adjustments to the questions. I credited Murray in it, so I was, it was okay that I did that. <laughs> <laughs> questions and I changed the wording of, for instance, that one which asked about all the children in the family, I changed the wording to simply one child because it is possible that a parent could have different parenting styles with each of their children and I was only interested in the child taking the survey. The second survey that I used was a the Rosenberg self-esteem scale developed by Rosenberg who was one of the pioneers of the self-esteem research and this was a 10 item scale and these items were things such as um, I am proud of my accomplishments, I form close relationships with others, things like that. And originally the survey was um, a Gutman scale, which is where you just put a check next to each one that applies to you. I switched it to a Liker scale so that I wouldn't have to rescore everything in a different way. So again, they were ranking from one to five based on how much each statement applied to them. And then I also had three demographic questions. I asked about gender, I asked about age, and I did that by having three ranges of years, the three ranges with, that consisted of each generation, that each generation consisted of. And then I asked who their primary caregiver was. Was it the mother, was it the father, or was it both parents equally? My results, I got 111 participants, which I was so excited about, that was unprecedented. <laughs> 50 men, 77 women, and two elected not to respond. And of these 111, I had 31 baby boomers, 23 Generation X, and 57 generation Y. So in order to analyze these, I used SPSS, which is a computer software where you plug in your data and it does the calculations for you. you didn't have to sit down with a calculator or anything. <laughs> um, and the first test I used was a three by two by three mixed factorial ANOVA. Now ANOVA stands for analysis of variance, and it what an ANOVA does is basically determines whether there is a relationship between the means 